Thank God it's Friday night And I just, 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 just got So today I'm going to be doing a collab with the YouTube Mommy Meetup. I think there's about 30 different people or moms posting budgeting tips um, throughout the month from the first to the end of the month, which I think is the 30th. So there's probably more because some people are posting on double days. So I was supposed to have this video up on the 11th and today is the 11th and I'm filming this video and rushing off to work. So hopefully I have time after I get off work to edit this and actually have it up. But who else is having a hard time believing it's already the 11th of January? Like. Was New Year's not yesterday? Because it feels like yesterday to me. <laughs> so I've done a budgeting video in the past and I still have that up and I go way more into depth with my bills and how, like, what my money situation kind of looks like. So you're welcome to go check that out. I'll put that right here. And uh, the comments are disabled on that video because the only comments I get now are not very positive comments. They're always negative, like somehow criticizing Canada's way of doing things and just kind of things like that, so, or like single mom comments. That's why the comments are disabled. So today I just wanted to show you how I kind of save money. It's how my method of saving money, how I do it. So my way of doing this is I have three different bank accounts. I have a savings account and then I have two checkings account. My savings account is in a different bank than my two checkings account. So the way my two checkings account work is one of them I can't access from my card so I can only access it from my app or from like going online pretty much. And then the other one I access from my card. Now I'm lucky enough, I have income coming in from a couple different places in the month, so I have it set up so some of it goes to the account that I can't access, and then some goes to my regular checkings account. Now if you don't have income coming into different places, then I would suggest you have all your money coming into the account that you can't access from your card, and then you can just transfer money out. So what I do is all my bills, like if my checks, come out of the account that I can't access from my card so then that way I always know that there's going to be money in there because I always leave that in there. My car insurance and everything comes out of that account. The rest of the money in this account, the other account, I spend on groceries, whatever, and then I try to not touch as much as money as I can in this account and that when I need to I just transfer it over like there'll be times where I go grocery shopping or something and there's a little bit more than I thought I was going to spend, you know how that goes, you go grocery shopping, it's like $100 more, $50 more, mostly that only happens at Costco. So then when I'm in the checkout line or whatever, I just go on my phone and I transfer the money from my other account into the account that I can access right there and it only takes two seconds so literally it takes me two seconds and it just helps me manage my money better because I know when I have spent all my money that's coming into the account and I know that I'm getting close and most of my money comes around the same time every month it comes around the 15th to 20th minus that every two weeks I get paid so I know that if it's like the first of the month and I'm like whoa Bonnie you just got your money like a couple days ago calm down like you need to stop spending if I'm transferring money already then I know to be more careful with my money for the rest of the month and it's also really great for spend um, for saving because that money that I don't touch I then transfer out of that account and I email transfer it into the other account that I can't access I don't have a card for that account and it's a lot more of a hassle to transfer it out so that's why it's way more of a savings account if you have trouble saving because then I actually have to go online like I don't have an app on my phone and stuff and you have to email transfer which you can't do right away like it takes over 15 minutes to email transfer so it's not like you really want to buy something and then you just transfer the money over and then you just spent your savings account you really have to think about it so that's just how I found ways to make it work I just really like the idea of having all my checks and stuff coming out of that one account because I hate being stressed out about spending money and then like having like a $400 check coming out and they like, haven't taken the money out yet and you're like when are they going to take it? I need to buy something. Is it going to go over by a dollar or something? Magically this month I have apparently not been moving money over or something or I didn't take any money out of that one account last month and I need to buy birth control which is going to be $300 and I need new tires which are going to be at least $400 and I have like an extra thousand dollars sitting in that account right now which is like it feels like bonus money because you just haven't spent it but it's not bonus money it's still the money that you would have always had but because of this it just feels like that like I haven't had to go to my savings account to buy these tires and the bit big expensive bills like usually like a the $600 thing would uh, you'd need to spend out of your savings account but because of this account and how it's set up I just actually feel like 
I still have my savings account, didn't have to touch it, and it feels really good that I didn't have to go into the big savings account to get this money. Anyways, I hope that this makes sense to you guys, and maybe some of you will take my tips and use them for yourself. The links for the rest of the playlist will be down below. Everybody's video is a little bit different, like I saw one that's like, how to save money at Target, and like, clip envelope ways of saving money, I don't know, uh, budgeting money. Uh, they're all different, so d definitely make sure you go to check out the rest of the girls' videos, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.